We are getting right into this. For this set, I'm using Full Coverage Stiletto Nails by EC Basket, which I refined to bring out the shape more. This beautiful iridescent pearl by Sassy and Chic, Nude by LA Colors, and the Rose Gold Metallic by LA Girls, and just a few stones from my personal stash. This will be a part of my Bougie Nails on a Budget series. Hey nail tubers, hey nailification squad, and how's everybody today? I'm so glad you could make it. I think this might be the easiest set I've done. Or do I always say that? <laughs> well, that's because they often are. So there, that's what we want, isn't it? But wait till you see how elegant which you know is often minimal and timeless. It's as simple as a coat of each polish, first the nude, then the iridescent pearl. When I chose this nude, it didn't appear as if it would be sheer, but then that actually worked in my favor because I really wasn't going for an opaque look and it turned out just the way I wanted beautiful and flowing. If you are new, I thank you for being here. Consider subscribing because this is actually a series and you can find many more designs you might like in my Bougie Nails on a Budget playlist. There'll be a link in my description box and at the end of my outro. So you've noticed I'm using regular polish, but don't forget, any design in this Bougie Nails on a Budget series can be done with similar gel polishes too. What I like most about this set is how effortless this set was to create and has a very graceful look. I am very dedicated to this series on behalf of many who are still very much into regular polish. In fact, I haven't given up on regular polish myself, and I do wear these nails. Don't forget, regular polish is great for learning and practicing polishing skill. So, on this channel, you will also see other aspects of doing nails. Regular polish as you're seeing today, acrylic, poly gel, and also dip. We're all so obsessed with nails, aren't we? <laughs> I know I am. Here's a quick story time. I started when I was about 13 or 14. Now I said before that when I attended nail school, none of the current products were on the market. But back then, nothing was out. But there was this acrylic kit that had just come out for the first time. I can't remember the brand. Maybe Sally Hansen or Kiss? And you know what else is funny? It didn't look much different from the ones you see on the shelves at Walmart or other stores today. So my bedroom set was pretty unconventional. Some of you might remember this. It was more of a corner sofa piece that consisted of two twin beds, one of which rolled under a table to create an L-shaped sitting area. I loved it because it made for a good girly hangout. So my friends would come over to get their nails done. And I would do their nails with this kit, right? 
I didn't know anything about liquid to ratio. For that matter, nobody did. Oh, and I think the brush bristles were some type of plastic and not a quality hair like we use today. So <laughs> the mixture, the mixture would stiffen inside the brush. Oh, I got to explain this part. This rose gold metallic is what made this set. As I'm taking the brush out of the bottle, I swipe most of the polish off of it. I only want a very thin whispering layer to create this flowing effect. And as I polish a band across the nail, I bring it to a taper on the opposite side and go back over it to spread out where it may have thickened. I made a wider band at the top, bringing it into an angle to give it a flowing effect and make a slimmer band coming up from the bottom. This became a perfectly satin-like finish, like ribbons coming up from ballerina slippers. So beautiful. So I'll finish telling you as you watch this part. My work would be so lumpy and take hours to file, which by the way, was done with either a metal nail file or one of those annoying emery boards. But you know what? We didn't care. We were kids. It was all about the hanging out and neither did our parents care. We were someplace safe. <laughs> but as long as it took and what little skill I had, they actually wore well. We would be so excited to get to the polishing part. I don't even remember top coat being important back then. But when it got to the polishing, oh yeah, isn't that familiar? <laughs> We're still like that now as adults. <laughs> I don't do the ribbon effect on all the nails, but decided to dress the thumb with a wisp. So it gives the impression the ribbon goes over and under different nails. It's so pretty. And here's the top coat. Now to keep this look, I will add only a few stones to give it the right amount of sparkle while keeping the delicate appearance. I'm so happy you came by today and really do hope you like this set. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And how about leaving a comment? If you guys only knew how much we love your engagement. I do hope you enjoyed today's Bougie Nails on a Budget. And if you have, remember, you can subscribe to my channel to see more like this. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll always be notified when I post and also become part of the notification squad. Thank you for watching. Until next time, much love.